Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix direct X function error with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to simply restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to enable debug mode in NVIDIA control panel. So you can go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop and then click on show more option and then click on NVIDIA control panel. And then at the top here, you can see help option, click on help and then click on debug mode. So once you put a check on debug mode, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to delete the content of shader cache folder. Now before you delete it, create a backup first. So you can go to the game installation folder. So if you have the game on Steam, you can make a right click on the game, click on manage. Now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. I don't have the game on Steam. This is added from eApp. I have the game on eApp. So click on manage over here and then click on view properties and then go to open folder. This will take you to the game installation folder. Here you can see shader cache folder. Open this folder and first of all, create a backup the backup of this folder. So copy this folder and maybe you can put it to the desktop. Once you have a backup, so I have a backup now. Once you have the backup, now you can open this folder and select everything and then you can make a right click and then you can delete it. But once this is deleted, now once it is deleted, now you can launch the game and then check. If you face any problem, if you face any kind of error message, you can simply uh, open this folder, the backup folder. You can copy this and you can paste it to the same location. You can paste it over here and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to set set the shader cache size to 10 or 100 gigabyte in NVIDIA control panel. Now for this, you can go to NVIDIA control panel and then go to manage 3D settings, go to global settings and find shader cache. So scroll down and here you can see shader cache size. Now by default, it may be unlimited or driver default. So in that case, you can set it to 100, uh, 10 GB and then you can apply the settings at the bottom right here. You can see uh, hit apply. If that does not work, you can select 100 GB and then you can hit apply and then you can check. If that does not work, you can set it to unlimited or default driver and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to update system BIOS. Now, this is important. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. Whichever brand you have, go to the system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then go to driver space and find the BIOS, update the BIOS, install it. And so, but in case of laptop, when you update the system BIOS, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable. And then once the update is complete, you can log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to use NVIDIA GeForce Experience to launch the game. So if you're an NVIDIA user, you can open GeForce Experience and then you can launch the game from here. Now on GeForce Experience, on the home screen, you will see the game, click on the game and then you can click on optimize and then you can launch the game. Next step is to now you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game. But if you are able to launch the game, you can try these steps. So once you launch the game, and now you can make a right click in the start menu and then go to task manager and find the game. So go to the details tab first. So here you can see three horizontal lines. Click on the details tab and find the game exe file in the list. So here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file and then click on set priority, select set priority and then you can set it to high or you can set it to real time. So I will set it to high first. So you can click on change priority now and now you can check. Now still you're facing the problem. Then next step is to disable stand here. Now for this, you can go to game, then go to graphics, scroll down. Now over here, if stand here option is highlighted, so you can turn this off and then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to set refresh rate to 60 Hertz. So for this, you can go to display over here and over here you can see refresh rate. So you can set it to 60 Hertz and then check. This has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. Also disable triple buffering. So in the display, scroll down here, you can see triple buff buffering. 
so if this is on you can turn this off and then check also turn off frame generation so you can try this so you can go to graphics uh, sorry go to display now here you can see upscaling met method so if you are using amd fsr you can set it to quality if you are using dlss again set this to quality and then turn off frame generation and then check if that does not work you can turn it on and then check so try both off and on and then check the performance also try window mode and lower down graphics settings now for this go to display now if this is set to like borderless window mode you can set it to window mode and then check also go to graphics if graphics preset is set to like ultra or if this is set to ultra you can set it to high you can set it to medium or you can even go for low quality and then apply the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to turn on or turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this you can open windows settings and then go to graphics go to display first system go to system and then go to display and then go to graphics and then click on advanced graphics settings and over here you can see hardware accelerated gpu now if this is off you can turn it on and then you can launch the game and then check if it is already off then you can turn it on and then check so try both on and off and then check which one is working fine for you next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now this has worked for many players so it might work for you so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you are using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive you can open c drive now if the game is installed on steam you can open program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder you will find the game folder over here in my case i have installed the game from ea app so open program files then open ea games and then open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open once the game is added over here now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can for steam users you can go to the game make a right on the game select manage now click on browse local files and for e app users you can go to manage properties open folder and then make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work go to properties this time put a check on the box over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then launch the game now still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and scroll down over here select the nvidia card make sure that you select your graphic card over here select the right series and then select the right graphic card and then if you have the if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 then click on find
now on this screen uh, here you will see the latest graphic card driver right now it's 566.03 click on view now over here you will see the download option click on download and once the download is complete over here you will see the download once the download is complete you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select the option which says custom select custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder so go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on add now once the game is added you can scroll down and find the game in the list so once you find the game click on the game and then over here select high performance and you will see your graphic card so select high performance over here launch the game and then check next step is to verify or repair the game files now for this if you have the game on steam you can make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab I don't have the game on Steam, so you can just make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game. If you have the game on EA app, click on manage and then click on repair. Once the repair is complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So it's in Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. In the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then you can close this launch the game and then check if that does not work then go to properties once again this time you can type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down download this x86 and x64 version so download x86 and x64 and then you, you have to run this these exe files so click on download and run these exes file install it once the installation is complete you have to restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to Unplug all the external devices like if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, if you have any kind of uh, like third party mouse connected, then you can disconnect if you have Razer, Tartarus or any kind of Razer peripherals connected, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller, sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any kind of third party application or services running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. And I don't have the game on Steam, so I'll show you with different games. So make a right click on the game, select properties. And in general tab, you will see an option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. So if this is on, turn this off and then check. Also, if you have Discord, any third, like any other overlay application, like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings and turn off overlay. You can go to GE Force Experience, turn off in-game overlay in GE Force Experience settings. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI Afterburner running, Reaver Tuner running. So any kind of overclocking application, you can close it and then launch the game. Also if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. 
so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game so you can make a right click on the game select manage and then click on uninstall you will find the uninstall option over here or you can uninstall the game from here after you uninstall it go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder so and once you delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive e drive or f drive any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check for many user installing the game to hh hdd has also worked so try to install if nothing is working you can try to install the game if you have an option you can try to install the game to hdd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel